Hi, and welcome back to the AVG Academy. I'm Michael. We're gonna look now at the top tips on how you can avoid ransomware. So the term ransomware describes a type of malicious software that's designed to hold either your computer or its data files at ransom. And the criminal is expecting to extract some money out of you in order for you to be able to then once again use your computer or access your files which have been taken to ransom. So let's look at some of the top ways that you can avoid ransomware for yourself and also especially for your business. And the first way is to make sure that you're keeping all your devices up to date. This means every server, every workstation, every piece of network equipment, all of your mobile devices. It also means all of your operating systems and all of your applications as well. It's a really important step because bugs are found in software and it's important that we keep them up to date to avoid them being vulnerable to certain exploits that can be unleashed on us. And one of those exploits, of course, is ransomware. So keeping your devices up to date is going to give you a very good baseline level of security. The next tip for you, especially if you're an IT administrator inside a business, is what you do with the company's file server or email server. Make sure that when you're administering that server and you're actually at the console of that server, do not surf the internet. Microsoft Windows Server, for example, comes out of the box with a lot of protections against being able to use the built-in Internet Explorer web browser to access sites, and it's for a very good reason. Accessing websites directly from a file server in an office is not a good idea. You should be using an administrative workstation to do those functions as well. So make sure you stay away from the server and do these things on a workstation instead. The next thing is about being able to detect and thwart the ransomware infection if it does take hold. And of course you do this by running an internet security software such as AVG and also one that on workstations has an advanced firewall capability that will prompt you and block outgoing network connections. One of the things that CryptoLocker and other ransomware software does is it tries to connect with a remote cryptographic server to exchange some encryption keys. And this is the first stage of the malware taking hold in preparation to damaging all of your data files. You don't want this to happen and one of the best mitigations against this is to prevent that initial outbound connection by using some really advanced firewalling techniques if you can. The next thing is if your network is using Microsoft Windows Server and you're, you have shared folders from the server, there is a great thing that Microsoft provide you called Volume Shadow Copy. Now Volume Shadow Copy it takes automated snapshots throughout the day or at times when you preset to be able to take copies of some of the files so that if one of your users in your networks uh, does become infected with a ransomware style malware, you'll have an opportunity to roll the files back just in case they were encrypted. It's a very useful uh, measure and again that's called volume shadow copy. Now of course leading into this are uh, backups in general. You should make sure that your business and also if you're a home user you have an appropriate online backup tool which is usually the case these days where your files are encrypted and then sent off securely to a remote online backup service. And what you want to do is make sure that you're using a backup service that has the right rotation of files and once, one that keeps multiple versions of files so that you can recover back to a certain point in time, preferably the time before you got infected with the ransomware if that was the case as well. Now lastly, I want to talk to you about email because the major vector for the transmission of ransomware at the moment is via email. Now, what happens, and this is why it's targeted mostly towards businesses, is as a business user, you'll receive an unusual email, sometimes from someone else within your organization, or so it seems, but the email has been generated under false pretenses and often includes an attachment such as a zip file which will claim to have some information like a company report in PDF form, for example. If you open the zip file attachment, which is a compressed archive file, and you attempt to read the company report.pdf file that might be claimed to be inside, sometimes you'll see that after the .pdf extension is a series of space characters followed by .exe. And of course, the company report PDF that you were going to click on is in fact an executable file that contains 
the start of the malware infection and you don't want to have that executed on any of your workstations. So really my advice to you to spread this information and news to your co-workers and your colleagues in your business is to be really careful of random and unusual looking emails, emails that you're not expecting that do, again, look fairly convincing, but have this zip file or other type of attachment which you're not expecting. If you receive an email like this, just simply delete it. If you're not sure, get a second opinion from someone else you're working with, and hopefully two heads are better than one in terms of mitigating against this threat. So congratulations, you've learned some of the top tips on how to defend your, yourself and your business from ransomware. Thanks for joining us once again at the AVG Academy and we look forward to seeing you again next time.